something to say, something to say. Hey everybody, our house one here, and in my last test of video, you saw me transplant the uh, Boca Lightning ceramic bearings into Slade. Yes, this and is in right now. Yep. So yeah, I've got my assistant Robin here helping me out. So now with the ceramic bearings, they come packed with a lubricant that needs to be uh, broken in. So I'm running one pack with uh, my Venom 20C battery through just to make sure that all the lubricant lubricates and everything's ready to, you know, nice and uh, well seated in so that we can do another run, you know, with the, um, uh, with the SFC pack and actually measure the data. And as you can see, this thing is flashing. Yes, it's flashing. In real life, it's red, but, but if right here, you see it's white. Well, this is showing the voltage of the three cell lithium polymer battery. So it's 12 volts total, and then they have 4.14 volts, 4.16 volts, and 4.15 volts well, in the three cells. Well, Daddy, let's get back to the episode. All right, so I'm about to turn it on. And remember, cover your ears because this is going to be super duper loud. All right. So everything's good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and spin this guy up. really, really tight. Okay. All right, here we go. Now I'm just stopping and checking temperatures. Uh huh. Okay, so yeah. I'm to make sure it's not sick. Yes, dear. I'm checking temperatures to make to make sure that things aren't getting too hot. So that's at 119. That's the spur gear. Pinion gear temperature is 1 112, and the motor temperature is at 100 degrees. So everything is going on pretty well here. Okay. So I'm gonna do a quick adjustment on this. So that because, is good, right, Dad? Yeah, everything's good. I'm gonna change this around a little bit because it was tangled up. Well, this was causing a torque on the car that was making it want to twist. So everything's good. So, yeah. so I'm just readjusting, making sure that everything's back in camera because mm -hmm. we don't want things to touch because that could cause something bad to happen. Like this I don't here. want it to touch our camera. That would be really bad. All right. So let's see. All right. So back. So we should be back to the episode. You have to stop them. There, Daddy, I stopped them. What do you mean something broke? If, if the temperature was, was, was okay. Let me 
like it, Robin. Okay, guys. So everything we, is wrong. So we had an issue here. This is the output shaft. It's hot. Yes, it is. But this is the output shaft for Slade. Yeah, for Slade's 300 kV motor. So it sheared off. You should put it on the book of air. No, so this isn't the issue of the book. This thing is not very hot. It did to me. It's only at 109 degrees. Wow, that says that's hot. No, it's not that hot. But let me go in. Let me focus in here. So you can see in here the, the output shaft just sheared right off. Yeah, I see it. That yes. isn't good. No, that's not good at all. That's so, beyond bad. That's okay, horrible. so... Well, so this run is done for the time being. So I need to replace Fix the, this before it's done forever. Well, what I want to do is I'm going to swap in... Uh, these, I'm going to swap in Scratches 3800 kV motor and finish up the test. The motors should be at their identical motors, um, and uh, I, they should still get valid data. So I'm going to drop off. The but how can quick, you stop quick. the sound? No, I'm just going to finish it up, and then uh, we'll complete the test. All right. So give me a few minutes. Our house twenty one signing out for a few minutes. Hey everybody, our house twenty one back again with Robin. With Robin. So that was a strange thing. So. This motor has been beaten like crazy for a long time, and I guess it just finally hit its breaking point. So I broke the output shaft. So I don't think that that had anything to do with these runs. This probably had more to do with all the abuse that it's been getting over the past two years. So not to worry, they sell rebuild kits for these things. So I'm gonna put this guy, uh, I'm gonna fix it and get it back in service. Luckily, I had an, an extra 3800 kV motor. This again, I didn't twin to this. I was sitting in one of my other cars, Scratch. So I did a quick motor transplant. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the break-in run. Good. And we'll be back in service here in just a second. So let me go ahead and power back up. And you see I still have 12.28 volts on the battery. <laughs> and you see the maximum current draw was 17.1. So Should already- you turn that off? No, it's about to turn it on. So already though, just make an observation, this is actually the power that was pulling is actually less than um, the stock bearings. So I'm going to turn it on. Remember, cut your ears. This is going to be loud. All right, what's up, Robin? Okay, okay. Well, let's make sure the motor's turning in the right direction. Alright, spur gear is at 98 degrees. Pinion gear is at 97 degrees. 97 degrees Fahrenheit, right that? Yep, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. 89 degrees Fahrenheit for the motor. The battery is 76 degrees. So everything's nice and cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and spin it up and we're almost at the uh so I'm gonna take almost at the hyper speed. No, I'm gonna take it to hyper speed. So I'm taking the battery down to 3.8 volts per cell. So just keep watching this little meter right here, Robin. Oh.
check, temperature check. Okay, so that's at 104 degrees Fahrenheit. What's the first one? This pinion is at 109 degrees Fahrenheit. So every, everything's running cooler. Good. Actually, that's, hmm, that's interesting because that kind of says if everything's running cooler now, you know, well, let's just go ahead and keep on with the test. But, okay, that's positive. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and you see it's showing 3.9 volts. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take it down to like 3.7 volts so that when I get off of it, it's going to be at 3.8 and that's where the voltage is stored. So one more run. It's looking good. So the battery voltage is down 3.8 ish volts per cell. Let's go ahead now and check the temperatures. Check their temperatures so they're not too hot. Okay, this is very cool again. This is 114 degrees for the pinion. Wow. The bigger gears pump the spur gear robin, and that's 115 degrees for the spur gear. And the motor is at 138 degrees. Mm. Alright, so all so this is all set. So this battery pack's all done. So I'm going to go ahead and do one more pack run through with, um, you know, with the SMC pack, and that's going to be for the record. I think these, I think these uh, bearings are all broken in, so we're good to go. All right, our house twenty one signing out. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, remember the mantra: fly, fix, fly. And don't forget to check me out on Facebook and Instagram, and keep you know, on smiling. And keep on smiling, brother. Our house twenty one signing out. Remember the mantra: fly, fix, fly. Break it, fix it, and do it all over again. All right, guys. Smiling. Let's be smiling.